Hello, welcome to Lunar Linux. Today I'm going to be setting up my Kubuntu 2204 install for playing video games. So, the first thing, make sure of, if you're running an NVIDIA system, make sure you have your NVIDIA drivers running. If you're running Intel, you're probably good. And if you're running AMD, make sure you have your AMD drivers installed. So as you can see, I have NVIDIA driver 5107305 installed, and we're ready to rock and roll. If you want to know how to install NVIDIA drivers on Kubuntu, or Ubuntu, you come down here, you find the driver manager app, which in Kubuntu is in system settings. In Ubuntu, it is an application that's just going to be in your applications overview menu titled additional drivers, and it will bring you here. And then you click on the NVIDIA driver you want, hit apply changes, wait for the bar to go across, and reboot, and you'll be good to go. So once you have NVIDIA drivers, then honestly, because we're in Ubuntu or Kubuntu, but it's based on Ubuntu, it is very easy. So let's go ahead and first grab Steam. So in order to get Steam, we're going to go... Uh, I can't remember what it's called, so I'm just going to search Steam. Word, store that Steam powered. I don't know why I could not remember that to save my life. Um, so you go up here to hit install Steam. It's going to recognize I'm in a Linux OS. And so I'm going to hit install Steam, and it's going to download Steam latest.deb. And because we are in a Debian-based OS, Ubuntu, we can take this dev file, open it with Discover, and hit install. And it's going to run on through. And now we have Steam. St uh, Steam gets uh, has a lot of dependencies, and so it actually it has its own code to download them, which is actually really nice, because sometimes it's uh, it's frustrating. Please go ahead and grab all the things you need. Yep. Go for it. All right. And while it's doing that, yo, oh, never mind. Well, it's it's done. Okay. So Steam's going to set itself up right there. We also want Discord. So, if you want Discord on Linux, again, because we're in a Debian-based uh, OS, this is very easy. We click on the dev package here. It starts the download. We open up your downloads folder. Yep, I would like to keep it. And open it with Discover. Click Install. Launch in your password. And just like that, you have Discord as well. Um, Discord just checked my browser. I don't have one. So, yep. As you can see, it's it's not hard at all to get this stuff set up in Ubuntu. It's a, it's a real breeze. So there's Steam, there's Discord, all set up and ready to go. The last thing I want is Minecraft. So we're going to head over to Minecraft.net. Now, in order to install Minecraft, you got to log in. So I'm going to bring this over here to this screen where you guys can't see. And I'm going to... Go ahead and get my stuff punched in here so I can download it. Alright, so we are logged in. Minecraft. Get Minecraft. Computer. Java Edition. And I already own it, so I can just hit download. And again, we're in a Debian-based one, so we can just hit get the Debian one, and it's downloaded. So this is what is really convenient about Ubuntu, is the fact that because it is such a popular operating system for someone who's going to be using Linux, most of the time if somebody develops something for Linux, they'll package it as a dev file. And this is, this is what it, it means, right? Because I just installed Steam, Minecraft, and Discord in uh, a matter of seconds because they were prepackaged for the operating system so boom now i have minecraft uh minecraft 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 games minecraft launcher hi close that close you
and Minecraft opened up here so I'm gonna just take it over here and log myself in again and a password and let's go Okay, so here we go. Now I, you can you can stop doing whatever it is you're doing. I don't. Let's see if it comes up this next time. If it does, then I just need to actually run the game. So uh, you might have seen something, and I'm gonna address that as soon as this comes up here. So Minecraft is packaged as dev file. It's meant to to be used specifically in Ubuntu, um, or well, you really want to open over there every time, don't you? Okay, so as you can see, it didn't keep me logged in, and that is because it is missing an application it's expecting us to have. So it's meant to, or is they're assuming that you're in Ubuntu, which we are, and it works and it installs, but Ubuntu ships with the GNOME desktop environment, which has an application called Seahorse, which we're going to install. Now, Seahorse is a um, keyring manager, so it saves passwords and automatically unlocks passwords based on your, your login, for example. So, I did not have it installed, which means that I'm using the, the normal KDE, ring, uh, KDE keyring, um, but Minecraft's not designed to work with that. So, we need to install Seahorse so that we can... It's right here, passwords and keys, so that it can actually um, unlock Minecraft every time we use it. So I need to actually log out and log in so that this will create a, um, what, did they, what do they call it? Um, it'll create a, like a key, um, wow. What is the word for it? So you can see this lock here, right? So it'll have a section here that's going to be for SDDM, the Display Manager, which is what it uses to log in with. It's the screen you see that you put your password in. So when I put that password in, it'll unlock one of the locks here, and all the passwords that are in here can now be automatically put into whatever application is requesting them. So Minecraft's expecting this to be here, and it wasn't. So I'm going to close out of you. I'm going to recognize, yeah, Minecraft crashed. That's okay. I did it intentionally. I'm going to close that, and I'm actually going to get rid of that shortcut um, so now I'm gonna stop recording log out and be back with you guys as soon as I have an actually working uh, key ring okay I'm back and as you can see it created a new folder here called login and it is unlocked so this is where the minecraft keys are going to go so if I go here and I go uh, games games minecraft I open this up and I go over here, put my password in again. It should create an entry in Seahorse that will save the login. Let's go. Yep, there we go. So here's all the Mojang stuff. So now this is not complaining that I, it won't log me in again. I can close the app and reopen it, and it will keep me logged in. Once it loads, of course, there we go. And I should just be able to hit play, and Minecraft will just, just run. That's Minecraft's great with Java like that. It just You can run it on anything that you can run Java on, and that has a semi-functional CPU and graphics code. Now, <laughs> as for the Microsoft server that's hosting this, um, it's having a bad day. Yeah. I see that. Was that just a, uh, a, you, a you error, not a me error? That looked like a you error to me. Happened on a download. So... As you can see, right, just setting up 
apps in, in Kubuntu and Ubuntu. Super, super simple. Download the dev files and you can just get them installed like that. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please leave in the co comments. But as, as far as setting up games on uh, Kubuntu, this is what it is. I, I do want to get Minecraft loaded up here so I can show you that, um, you know, it, it runs just like it would in Windows. The performance is going to be totally what you'd expect. I just have to, to wait for the game to launch. So I'll see you guys when the game launches and I'll, I'll show you that it does in fact run like, uh, like you'd expect. Okay, we're back. And uh, as you can see, Minecraft finally launched. It took an odd amount of time <laughs> for that to download. The server was not not definitely impressive at all. So let's go ahead and get that from being giant to, to a little bit more normal. Um, I'm going to crank that to 18. I'm going to actually just set that free. I do not want vSync, although vSync does work in Linux. Um, G-Sync does as well, if you have an NVIDIA card. Uh, music, hi. You, that's not the right thing. I know you guys can't hear it, but uh, I can, and it is loud. Okay, sorry. All right, single player. Let's see, test, and let's just jump into a world here. This should not take too, too long to load. Awesome. I hear sheeps. Sheeps. Okay. So, um, village. Wow. Okay. Spawned right in one. All right. So we are. Let's see. Let's let's get a baseline for you. So we are running at 2K resolutions. We're at 2560 by 1440. Oh, auto jump. No. Um, we're running on an RTX 3090 at 2K resolution with um a 5900x and we are pulling about 200 200 fps average 240 fps average if i move around obviously it's going to change but um this is an 18 chunk render distance minecraft is a like devastating game well that's interesting minecraft takes a stupid amount of resources uh to run but as you can see actually that's not necessarily true because there's a RTX 3090 and a 5900X in this machine. Um, and we are sitting here at, I don't want to say only 230 FPS, but like it's only 230 FPS if you consider the fact that we're at 18 chunks render distance. The game can go up to 32. So this is an RTX 3090 and a 5900X. These are some of the fastest graphics. This is like one of the fastest graphics cards you can get on the market. And it, struggles to keep the game above 100 fps at the game's highest settings <laughs> so as you can see minecraft is a little bit a little bit harsh but um i'm not using optifine and that's just the way minecraft goes but point being this performance very very similar to windows if if you if i pulled this up in windows i'd be getting about the same i might even be getting more frames uh in linux than in windows so, yeah, as this is, and as you can see, it behaves totally normally. Um, it's it's Java Minecraft just running in Linux. Oh, hello, kitty. So, there you guys have it. Installing um oh black screen black screen for you guys. Now two Minecrafts for you guys. All right. So as you guys can see, running running games in in, in Kubuntu is a frankly a piece of cake if you um. If you're using uh, Ubuntu, you just download the installers and, and run them. It's just like Windows. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll see you guys later.